Chinese company Xiaomi is taking giant leaps in India, reaffirming its commitment to make in India after making a $1 billion in revenue in the country last year, Chinese smartphone maker Xiaomi has announced its second manufacturing unit in partnership with Taiwanese electronics major Foxconn in the South Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. With the new manufacturing plant, more than 95% of Xiaomi smartphones sold in India will be manufactured in the country. This means that with two plants, Xiaomi will have a combined production capacity of one phone per second. Even though we are selling such huge volume, a lot of times our products are still out of stock, which means the demand is still significantly higher than supply. And that's one of the things that we realized last year when we thought of setting up a new plant because we said we're not able to fulfill. Our earlier plant was already running at more than 100% utilization and we were not able to meet this demand. So with this plant going live across both the plants, our combined capacity is one phone per second. Xiaomi scored big in the last quarter of 2016. Festive season saw it take the second spot in the Indian smartphone market. The company wants the number to go higher. Chinese companies have been shifting some of the manufacturing to India. Experts say this would be beneficial for India to build on its Make in India program. In 2014 September, there was uh, President Xi Jinping's visit to India and Pune and Ahmedabad were identified for manufacturing centers. Uh, if the, uh, the Chinese government shift some of the manufacturing capacity uh, outside into other destinations, this could be an opportunity for the Indian uh, economy. The Indian government has been making significant efforts towards achieving its agenda of Make in India and Digital India. It also aims to make electronic manufacturing one of its key pillars under Digital India. The initiative of the government has led to investments into India for the purpose of setting up of manufacturing facilities. The Indian government launched its flagship Make in India program in September 2014. Since then, it's managed to garner an investment of $90 billion. But it also aims to create 100 million jobs till 2022. And to be able to do that, it will have many roadblocks and it includes infrastructure development. With goods and services tax or GST being implemented in the month of July, many companies will use it to set up shop. But the time taken remains a massive issue. India next needs to pay attention to creating an ecosystem including better highways, connectivity and building a robust infrastructure. This would reduce the cost for companies to help India compete with other global manufacturing hubs. Shweta Bajaj, CGTN, New Delhi.